All the 3D printing love. DigiKey and Adafruit present. on NPI. This week. We have my favorite tool companies, so I'm right. excited. I, I didn't realize I hadn't done a Weha NPI yet. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I've used, my oldest tools are actually Weha tools. The only tools that I have that have survived the longest are from them. I'm actually going to show them. Okay. On, on the overhead, because I just thought it was. That's was a big like, deal. It is a big deal. So this is like, you know, 20 years. This is the old. original. You could tell because the plastic. It's all yellowed. Well, I've moved these around to different Adafruits. Like, in the past. like so I, I remember I've moved these this now. Yeah. To like seven or eight apartments now. So I got these when I was um, a sophomore in college, and or a junior in college, uh, and there was a store um, called Active Electronics. You can barely see here. It was a Canadian company, and they had storefronts. It was like a like it was like Radio Shack crossed with Micro Center. It had like really advanced electronic components. Uh, and they had really good tools and um, over, you know, I, I actually have the whole set. I just don't know, like some of them are at the office and some of them are like somewhere else. But these are the original um, We Have Screwdrivers. And what I really liked is that this kit in particular came with the chip lifter, which was, which was really handy because I was doing a lot of dip chips and EPROMs. And so I would use this to carefully lift uh, chips out of breadboards. This is exactly what this tool is used for. You don't use a screwdriver, you use a chip lifter. So I wanted to give them a shout out. Uh, I've carried this around with me again for, for uh, yeah, t over 20 years now. Uh, it's from 1999, probably, or so. Anyways. All right. So, so what are we showing this week? We're going to show, this week we're going to show the new, newest generation of screwdrivers from Weha, which is um, the uh, Speed E. So it's, I, I think, perhaps it's Speed E, Speed E. Uh, and this is the second generation of this electric screwdriver, and Having used uh, a screwdriver on projects or products where I was doing a lot of assembly, um, I know that it gets very tiring to um, constantly screw and unscrew machine screws or terminal blocks or whatnot. You know, it's not so bad if you're doing like five or 10, but if you're doing a run of like, you know, 100 or 500 products and each one of them has assembly, and yes, you know, you can get fancy, like, you know, pneumatic screwdrivers. But if you're in that in-between space where it's like, look, I just want a tool I can put away. I don't want to have, it's not going to be a bench tool that's like installed at the bench. I want something that I can move around quite easily. Um, this is much lighter than most electric screwdrivers. And it's definitely a lot lighter and smaller than a drill, uh, like an electric drill which with a, a screw bit in it. So I thought this was a nice tool. Uh, there's a lot of little extras in it that uh, I think make it uh, extra extra fancy for an electric screwdriver. It's got this nice ring light. Uh, the ring light also lets you know when the battery's low, it kind of pulses on and off. Um, it's powered by uh, lithium ion batteries. It actually comes with two batteries, which is really nice because you know you use one and then you charge the other. Um, they're 18500s. This is a standard size battery, but what I like is these are protected. So you can even see it's like EE Power is the, the company. Uh, these are protected cells, so don't use unprotected cells. Um, I think that's a nice little touch. I always, I always appreciate that. 1,500 milliamp hours, and uh, you also get a charger. A uh, charger, in this case, the photo shows the European um, end, but it's uh, a USB charger, so it's nice. It's like a, a USB wall adapter with, like, universal uh, plugs. So, you know, mine came with a couple different plugs, in including US. Um, but you can always just power the uh, lithium ion charger over USB as well. So you don't have to use the plug. You can just plug into your computer or, you know, my outlets have a little USB plug. So that's handy as well. So I thought for the most part, it's like the only way to show this is on the overhead. So let's go to the overhead and show it off. So um, you can pick up the full kit from DigiKey, right, a sponsor of this uh, segment. Uh, and this is what you get. So it's got like a nice little handle here, but open it up. Um, and there's an instruction manual, you know, read it, of course, it, it's a nice little instruction manual, has some info in it. Um, obviously, this has already been taken apart and put back together, and that's why it's like, why is this all, like, jumbly looking? Because I was using it. Uh, so this is the um, power plug. So, yeah, it comes with, uh, this one came with U.S. plugs, but this is kind of a standard um, clip-on, like a plug adapter, so you can get adapters for different countries, of course. And this is a uh, five volt, 2.4 amp adapter. So it's basically like a, you know, a USB, um, a high powered USB plug. Um, and this is the charger. Uh, it's got LEDs in it. The LEDs, of course, 
uh, you know, they, they tell you, um, you know, red is charging, green it's it's fully charged, and blinking means there's an error. Uh, it's nice, it's got a little rubber thingy so it doesn't slip off. And then these are the batteries, uh, and you can um, even tell that they're protected because they've got this like extra gold plate on the bottom. So there's, there's probably a protection cell either on the bottom over here or on the top here. So it's a good, good idea. Always little protected cells. Um, and this is the screwdriver itself. Whoa, sorry about that. Um, so this is the, uh, the body of the screwdriver and the, sorry, the battery goes in here. Uh, so again, you get two batteries, charge one while the other one is being used. Um, you know, how long does it last? I mean, I, I didn't, I, I didn't quite get run down the battery. So you, know, you can use it for like an hour or two, depending on how often you're screwing and how much torque you're applying, of course. Um, and then uh, here on the end is where you can plug in tips. There's like a standard Weha uh, tip series. It comes with a whole selection of them. And this kind of a gum box. So you've got, uh, you know, large flat heads. You've got uh, a couple Phillips. You've got like a combo. I like this. This is kind of nice. It's like a combo Phillips flat. You can kind of see. Uh, and then two terminal block squares. So it's got, you know, a, a range. Not the finest, you know, uh, tips, but um, this one is, I think, a pH zero. No, this is a pH one. This is a combo pH one. So number one, number two. Um, but you can also, of course, get from Weha, they sell like every hex and whatever adapter you possibly want. And each one is torque rated as well, which I think is kind of neat. So this one, is, for example, is torque rated to uh, 5.5 Newton meters. Um, then uh, once you've decided what tip you want, you can put this back. This uh, snip snips in. It's not like magnetic, I don't think, but it is like a very firm fit. Um, and then this part, this ring, is what you rotate to to rotate. So when you twist it, and it turns, and then twist it the other way, it turns, and that's it. So you just hold it, you hold it steadily like this, and then you use your fingers to twist and turn. So yeah, like, you know, this is designed for electricians. Um, and definitely I can see if you're an electrician, you're constantly like opening and closing terminal blocks all day. But what this would, for me, what I think this is very useful for is if you're working on a product where, again, you have to assemble or disassemble a lot of screws. It's not a problem if you're assembling or disassembling like 20, 10, 20 screws, not a big deal. It's when you get into like the hundreds, your wrist starts hurting a lot. And like you start getting like tendonitis, especially if you're also an engineer that types a lot. Um, constantly twisting a screwdriver is, is going to make your, your shoulders hurt and your uh, arm hurt and your wrist hurt and your uh, forearm hurt. So this is where I would, I would use a tool like this. Like it's quite handy for that purpose. We have an electric screwdriver in the store that's like a little thin one. But it doesn't have nearly as much torque. I think it goes up to like maybe 0.1 or 0.2 Newton meters. Um, this one, so one of the things that is new in this, this model, the, the two speedy, is it's got two torque settings. And uh, the minimum I think is 0.4 Newton meters. The max is 0.8. There's actually in the, in the manual, it's a range. It's like 0.4 to 0.5 and 0.8 to one Newton meters. I'm assuming that's due to like variations in the motor and of course the battery life. Like if the battery is, is you know, fully charged, you're gonna get just a little bit more wattage out of it. You're gonna probably get like max torque. You know, as it gets to nominal voltage, uh, 3.7 volts, you're probably gonna drop down a bit um, and get down to that, that nominal 0.4 or 0.8 Newton meter. So it's got a lot more torque. And then when you hit the torque, it actually latches and then you twist it by hand. So I didn't want to actually demo it, but um, if you, if you switch it like this, let's explain. So when I twist this, you know, this part twists, right? Okay, so it's screwing in. But if I'm not using, if I'm not holding onto this and twisting it, if I'm just holding onto the body and I'm, I'm twisting it, this has 10 Newton meters of, of torque max. So this is still a, a, a screwdriver. It's not like a, it's not slipping. So what you would normally do is, um, you know, say if you're working with, uh, screws that are going into plastic, for example, you'd use the lower torque. If you're using, you know, big machine screws or big terminal blocks, you use the higher torque. And then once it stops, it, it reaches that max torque, right? It's already, it's screwed all the way in. You've hit the torque. 
then you would use the handle and give it an extra quarter inch twist, right? That's the finger tight plus quarter turn um, that like a lot of, let's, it's like, that's the uh, guideline I use for like how much to tighten something. Um, you would use the body for doing that because the motor, you don't want to like, max, you can't max out past whatever the weighting, the torque is for the min and max rating. Does that make sense? So you'll still, you, you still can use it as a screwdriver. You still will use it as a screwdriver to finish off um, especially if you need more than one newton meter of torque, but it depends on what you're using. If it's if it's plastics, maybe you don't. If it's you know machinery that's delicate, maybe you know you don't. But if you um, if you do need to give it a, a really good twist at the end, you know you you reach the ending, you just hold the body and give it that last quarter turn. Okay. And uh, did you want to play the video? Yeah, and there's also like a fun little video from Weha, and then uh, we'll sh also we want to show where they can get it in stock. Yeah, we'll show it at the end of okay, the video. Okay, we'll show the video. available on DigiKey. I think there's a couple more left, folks were saying, in the chat. And here's the thing. You might be wondering, oh, it's, it, I wonder if it's cheaper if I get it, like, direct from Weha or some other popular online store. No, it's actually, like, 40 or $50 less to get it at DigiKey. So if you want one of these, um, get them from DigiKey because it's a really good price. And, uh, yeah, it's like, looking at this, I, I'm, all, I'm starting to think of all the Burning Man projects I did where I was like, just sitting there and, like, cranking on like a you know an allen wrench or a screwdriver for like hours and like my shoulder ached uh, i definitely can't do that anymore at my age so electric screwdriver is where it's at and right. these are very powerful tools now short url digikey.com forward slash zero b four 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 d h d nine and then you can do four thirty one two three sorry three two four nine zero n d or just search for speed e yeah and that is I'm for the week. I'm